Well, hey there, Christ Church. Trevor DeVage here with a really, really important message for each and every one of you. I'm sure all of you have been paying attention to the coronavirus. I've been glued to uh, Twitter feeds and Facebook and news reports uh, about all sorts of things. Uh, last night, the NBA and Tom Hanks and his wife, and now the NCAA is like tournaments are dropping galore. And I just heard that, that Duke and Kansas pulled out of the tournament in hopes that they will shut that down as well. And so uh, a lot of people are, are kind of in panic mode. A lot of people are fearful about what's happening right now. And, and I want to remind us of a couple of things. First one is this, as Christians, we know from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says this, um, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. And so we cling to those kind of promises in times like this. So let's remember, I want us to pray for those that have been affected by this. Uh, I want to make sure that we're praying for our government, for our authorities, for those that are in charge, uh, those that have to make tough calls. Uh, so a couple things, uh, in an effort to comply with the governor, Mike DeWine, he just did a press conference, we just watched it, uh, and he is asking that there be no, uh, no gatherings of people of more than 100 in auditoriums and outdoor spaces. Uh, that, that really affects us. Now, uh, I, I love our government. I love our governor. I love the people that are in charge. I deeply believe they have the best interest of the people at heart. And so we want to be in compliance with that. And ultimately, we want you to be safe. We want your safety to be first and foremost to us. We want to make sure your kids are safe. We want to make sure you are safe. We want to make sure anybody and everybody that would come into our space on a Sunday morning is absolutely safe. So what does that mean? This next weekend, I just want you to know, at our Mason campus, our main building in Mason, Ohio, uh, this building will be closed this weekend, but our church is not closed. Let me explain what I mean by that. We are going to have full online service this weekend, full engagement, full service. It's going to be exactly what you get if you're sitting here, just you're gonna to have to do it from your living room, okay? So what does that mean? Uh, we want you to be ready at 1020 a.m. We're gonna do one service online. Now it'll be where you can replay it all day long, uh, but that one service at 1020, we will go live this Sunday uh, and then service will just go as it normally does. So if you've never been a part of our online campus before, this weekend, you're going to get the opportunity to do that and see what that's like. I would encourage you, do a couple things when you do that. Uh, invite some friends over, invite some family over. Um, you can invite up to 99 people over, right? As long as you don't have 100 people gathered, man, invite some people into your home. Be a part of that stuff together. Um, we're going to do communion together. So make sure that you, you have elements ready for communion. We're going to take offering together. Uh, and let me, let me help you understand why we're taking offering. We do it every single weekend. But, but let me tell you, if you're not here, it's really important that we still give. And let me tell you why. It's because this virus is not going to stop our ministry. We're not going to let that happen. In fact, at this point in time in history, more than any other time right now, we want to make sure that we have the resources available. So if our community needs us in this moment, we still have the resources to help each and every person that we can. So we want you to give generously. We want you to commune together in your home. We want you to worship loudly with each other. Uh, do us a couple other things, if you would. Take pictures of your family worshiping together and use the hashtag CCLive. And we would love to see how you guys are worshiping together. Uh, and then finally, we're going to continue to keep you updated. Uh, we Next week, we're still going to have Bible studies in the building. So women's Bible study, men's Bible study, student stuff that goes on during the week up here. All of that is still going to happen. Rehearsals for things, practices for things. All of that stuff is still taking place next week. But if there's any change at all in any of these communications, we will let you know as soon as humanly possible. And do us a favor too, follow us on social media. You can follow us on, uh, on Twitter, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on uh, Instagram, and we will keep you updated in those spaces as well. Plus our church email, we will continue to send you messages there too. So I'm praying for each and every one of you. I hope you're praying for your friends, for your family, for those affected by this, for our government leaders, for our local leaders, and for your church leaders. I pray that you would pray for us as well uh, as we try to make the right decisions to make sure that we keep everybody's interests at heart. So with that said, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you online, live.ourchristchurch.com, or you can go to our Facebook page, follow us there, and follow us live on Sunday morning there at 1020 Sunday morning, CC Live. Cannot wait to see you there. Hope you guys have a great week.